Hey guys, thank you for always coming back to my channel. Thank you for your support. This is Queen C No Longer Bound. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today in this video, we're going to be going through some guitar chords, bar chords actually, and uh, we're going to be walking you through it. We're going to be going through the one, the four, the five, seven, and we're going to do a couple of minors, which is uh, probably the two, the three, and the six, okay? I pray that you enjoy it. Listen, please subscribe, like, and share, and we're on our road to like 10,000 subscribers this year. We're looking forward to it. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your support. We will see you right here next time. Heard that first minus round, okay? So I'm gonna see now. Stand up so you can see my fingers now. You haven't seen this one. Okay, so now I'm back at the one. I turned around. I'm back at the one. I'm five. My trust is in. I want to go here. You. So you. That's a minor chord. So one. Dun, dun, I'm down now. Almost look like the major, but it's not. You three, Lord my God. When I also kept the same finger format, but it went down to a minor two. I put my trust. That's a four. Back to a five, turn around. Okay, now I'm gonna say, let not my enemies. I'm gonna keep that three down, uh, down to a two. Let not my enemies try over me. Always come back home to one. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Hey Lord. Let not my enemies try over me okay so so what I do so from trust I went to um, a three let not my enemies try there's a two to minor oh, over me I want to hear this four and I want to hear this one I want to hear this five Okay, let's walk it through now. Try to do it up standing up from the beginning. It's in you, Lord my God. I put my trust four to five. It's in you, six. Lord my God, that's the four. I put my trust four. It's in you, that's a three. Lord my God, that's a two. I put my trust four. Let not my enemies, that's a three, triumph to a two, oh Lord, over me. Okay, so, in that song, it, the, the, the chords, the major chords, again, are what? They're your bright chords. They're your happy chords. And then the minor chords, they're your color chords, more of your sad sounding chords. So as a musician, you can, you can control, actually, believe it or not, your environment. It depends on me, the mood that you're trying to set. So when we're in worship, if it's a prayer going on, we're we're going to play something kind of soft and melancholy behind the prayer, okay? And then, then you'll pick it up and make it jubilant afterwards. Um, if there's, well, prayer, I'm an evangelist, so a lot of times we, we, we're ministering to the people. If, uh, if God is bringing forth a word through you to minister to somebody, you don't need a musician back there going, you know, the boom, 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 that's distraction. 
I don't know how many of you um, ever read the story of uh, King Saul, King Saul, um, who David was his successor in the scripture. You know, David played the harp. And um, what King Saul would do when he felt really bad, even though he had, this was amazing. Y'all know the story. He had all kinds of difficulty, jealousy about David. But um, when he would have, have trouble and his spirit was troubled, he would send for David and David would play on his harp. And as he played, the, the evil spirits would subside. See, music is so powerful. That's one of the reasons that, the, well, Lucifer himself was the greatest musician uh, ever in heaven and God had to kick him out because of some problems. So anyway, um, music is very powerful. Uh, it's been known as being the opiate of the people. No matter, I love it all. I love it. I love classical. There's a couple of ones I have a little trouble with, but music is music and it has its place. Uh, I just later was chosen and driven to gospel. I just love gospel, love traditional gospel. It always ministered to me. Even though in the nightclubs I danced to all different ones, and back in the day, you know, I mean, you know, music is music, I enjoyed it. <clears throat> but now, when I, once I gave my heart to the Lord, it's just, I love the gospel sound. I love the freedom of being able to do that. I was asked one time when I was in college to go on a tour with, uh, a group, summer group, and uh, at that time I was going to get some big exposure because the group was going to New York City and I probably was going to take a stop through the um, Apollo and I thought, oh my God, I got to go, I want to be there, I want to be there, Lord. But at that time I was fully, I, once I gave my heart to the Lord, I just became fully committed, that's all to it. So I said to my instructor, I said, well, what kind of music will we be doing? And he said, oh, we'll be doing, you know, secular music, these kinds of songs and blah, 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 and this kind of thing. And he said, I really would love for you to go. I really, I really would love to have your voice there. And I said, you know, I would love to go too. I said, but I can't. He said, why is that? I said, well, I'm a gospel musician. I said, no, no, no. It'll confuse my audience. I can't. I don't know what other people do. I just was not a crossover artist. So I, I didn't get that, but God has blessed and he's blessed me to move forward in whatever way he sees fit. But that's my commitment. Um, but the chords, I need you to understand, gospel has a different flavor, but gospel is made up of Jazz is made up of blue. That's why we have those seventh chords. We can grab that. A chord is a chord. That seventh chord. A seventh chord in there. And that seventh. kind of stuff in there if you want to in in the minors and the majors but it's it all boils down again to the words the lyrics that you're singing that's the most important part of it all not so much uh the riffs the runs the key but it's the it's the lyrics who are you singing to and what are you singing that's very important so guys i just wanted to practice just a little bit today uh, with my chord structure and get my, make sure I don't lose my calluses and don't let my wrists get so out of shape from uh, from not playing. So I just wanted to come in and do a little bit of that. Um, yeah. So we'll we'll do some more in another time. I'm trying to see. 
Did I miss anything as far as uh, bringing in those power cords? Um, no, because a lot of it is, is repetition as well. Let's see. Hmm. No. Oh, let, let me see here. I just saw something. Hold on. I think I'm still I think I'm still doing that one. You've heard me do this one before, but it's got the three. Let me see. Let me see this one. Oh, let the words of my mouth, the meditation. Yeah, this is different. See, I went right, right away from the one to the three on this one. I didn't go to the four. So I did. Oh, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable. So I went from a one to a three to a six. And then I'm going to come to a four. Yeah, this one, I, I kind of mixed them around a little bit. So let's try it. Let the words of my mouth... Get up here so you can see my fingers. Okay, so try this right up here. Let's see. Okay. Let the words of my mouth the meditation... So don't do that right now. Let the words of my mouth the meditation of my heart be acceptable be acceptable that's a four in the side back to a one okay now so when I go to sight to a one I gotta turn around the sight mm -hmm. do it again let the words of my mouth the meditation of my heart be acceptable, be acceptable in the sight. Now watch. And I will praise you, Lord. You're my strength. To four, I will praise you, Lord. To five, my Redeemer, I will praise you, Lord. You're my strength. I will praise you, Lord. You're my Redeemer. Oh, here we go. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, it's a three, be accepted. To pull the six, be acceptable for in the sight. Wow, I don't expect for you to grab all these chords today unless you know you guys are already playing. But just wanted to show you uh, that you can play an instrument and you can play guitar. I don't know if any of you ever tried to do that. Okay, is there any guitar players out here? All right, you guys can show me a few things. So, Flynn Courage, welcome, girl. Hello. Okay, who else I got there? Rihanna Wheels, welcome, welcome. She can cook, yeah, girl. Hey. All right, let's see here. Uh, B, Becca, hey. Uh, desktop, hello. Uh, Maroon, hello. And whoever else, I pray I don't mispronounce your name. Guys, thank you for coming in. So, do anybody play? Anybody play? In any, anything? You play uh, any instruments at all? Anybody? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, then. Well, listen, I thank you for, for um, being here to encourage me. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys that uh, I was actually, um, I was actually forbidden to play, to play instruments. Actually, I was forbidden to play the keyboard. The, the keyboard. At that time, it wasn't a keyboard. It was an organ. It was an organ. Uh, in our home, um, my, unfortunately, I don't think she knew any better at the time, but my step-grandmother, she was kind of a respective person. She was kind of a respective person with the kids. So, 
some kids she was allowed to, you know, touch it if she thought they had the ability. Apparently she didn't think I had the ability, so I wasn't allowed to touch it. And uh, it kind of, it really made me feel the day they say some kind of way, it really made me feel really, really hurt. But um, it was nothing I could do because it was, wasn't my instrument. But I um, purposed in my heart that if ever I got the chance, I would learn. And so it kind of started driving me from there to, um, to want to be able to worship God, to be able to, be able to play an instrument. And um, my mom couldn't afford lessons for me. So, I mean, in the country in South Georgia, I'm sure lessons weren't very much. But it was a lot to her at that time. She didn't have the funds. So that was not going to happen. So I thought, okay, mm, there's a will, there's a way. So I just started singing and singing in choir. You know, in, in church choir, you can always sing. That's the one good thing about church, you can always sing. Many, many musicians started out in church, you mean? And I would, um, then when I got in, in school, I would get into what they call the rhythm band, elementary rhythm band. And there I was able to play sticks. They had uh, various instruments, triangles, and all kinds of stuff, so my job was to tap the sticks. And I did that, and long story short, later, I uh, can't remember, Somebody in my family had a guitar, and uh, I have a picture of it. If I can find it somewhere, I'll show you one day. It's way years ago down the country, man. You would see me standing back there in the country in that old house, and I was standing in the door with it, and I'm pretending that I'm playing that guitar. And I don't know who it belonged to. I think it was my brother's. I didn't own it. But I was pretending I was playing that guitar. And um, I look at that picture now, and I think, oh, wow. Was it a prophecy? Was I prophesying, you know? Um, so we moved away from the country and uh, moved to a little suburban city in Florida, town in Florida, rather a little village. And um, so I, I um, that's where my grandmother, step-grandmother was when I got there. And I thought, okay, now, I don't know if I'm, how am I going to do this thing? So again, I got in the school choir start singing in church again and I'm trying to remember how how keyboard got in there. Um, oh yes. I'm an adult by this time. Yeah, I was I was working, I was an adult by this time and I met this retired Italian guitar lady teacher, yeah, that had moved to Florida from up north yeah, actually. And uh she she saw me singing and she saw me she kept saying I want to learn how to play piano, and she said to me she said no honey, you learn the guitar and I thought guitar I don't learn the guitar. She said no 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 you learn the guitar. She said because you learn the guitar you can accompany yourself when you sing, and you can take it wherever you go. So I learned my acoustic is over there, so I learned to play uh, the acoustic guitar and I thought wow that's cool man because you can take it anywhere you can take it to the park. Wherever you want to go, this is an electric, got an amp, you don't have to plug it, plug, plug up the acoustic. And uh, so I learned how to do that and learned how to start accompanying myself in church. And it was hard, it was hard. So trying to get the, oh my God, my, my blessed mother, God bless her heart, she would, she would try to sing along with me. You know, I was singing. So, so I'm singing, I'm going like this. She's going, let's say y'all. Soul and body belong to God. Soul and body. I go, Mom, wait, 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 wait. Don't go, don't go over there so fast. So she said, wait, so she has to go back. Soul and body. <laughs> so soul and body. Beat. Then she'd have to wait, wait now. Okay. Now get it. Uh, belong to God. <laughs> so, so so I get it. Long to God, my whole body belong to God. And I wasn't doing bi chords at all, trust me guys. I was up here, I was up here. And this is good, this is not bad for anybody, either. trust me. You know, a lot of musicians play these, I just like bars better. So I'd be up there trying to get that soul and body. My little, my little, my little fingers up here on my top chords, I showed you those. Soul and body belong 
to God. So I'm trying to get my A minor. Wait, 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 ma. So I got, let me show you that top A minor. So I'm trying to go up here with my C coin and my chord. So I'm going, soul and body belong to God. Now wait, 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 ma. I got to find it. So I put it under there and get it. I got it. Soul and body belong to God. The whole body. Oh, Lord. But she loved me so much. She watched me struggle uh, chord after chord. And she watched me get the calluses on my fingers because the tips were hurt so bad. But I kept, she just encouraged me. She said, keep going. You can do it. You can do it. And she would sit there with me and sing with me till finally I'd be able to get it well enough. I could go play at that church, man. Soul and body belong to God. Soul and body belong to God. Soul and body belong to God. My whole body belong to God. Yeah. And then in the Pentecostal church, oh my God, because the message church, we didn't do that, but in the Pentecostal church, oh, you could play and service would last, I don't think it looked like we were ever going to get out. And we would be playing and playing and playing and playing. But you know, we kept getting better and better and better and better. And we enjoyed playing and enjoyed blessing God. So you look forward to every Sunday, you look forward to every, uh, we had Bible study on Tuesday nights and Friday nights. And yeah, yeah, it was, it was a blessing. It, it brings so much joy to me to be able to play an instrument. I love playing the keyboard, I really do. But I don't know, the guitar is my first love, and I just love it. Um, I, don't, I don't know, some people can find something they like to do, and it just, it, it, I don't know, it brought me through depression. It, it, I was, I, it brought me through depression, I have to think about that. Thank you, Lord. And say, look where he's brought you from. He brought me through depression. When I relocated from Florida to the north, I didn't know what I was doing because I had never lived there before. I was excited about coming. But I didn't realize the cultural shock that it was going to be. And I didn't realize the effect that the difference from leaving sunshine coming to no sunshine would have. Man, it was it was like, wow, what is going on? So I found myself almost like two years, a good year, a year and a half, maybe two years, just being down, depressed. I would, I would cry for no reason. I'm not, I cry, but I'm not a crying person. I just don't just cry, you know. You just don't see me just crying. But I was like, my husband would come home and I'd, <laughs> what's the matter with you? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't go to the doctor for it. I just thought it was something. I just couldn't figure out what it was. So one day as I was praying and seeking the Lord, the um, Holy Spirit told me, get your guitar. So what I started doing was every single day after work, I couldn't wait to get home after work. And I would get home and, and I would take maybe... I was sharing a house with my in-laws, so I had to wait until maybe they get through cooking or doing what they were doing, and I go prepare our food. So while that was happening, I'd get my guitar, and I would go up in the attic, and I would go out somewhere, and I would just sing and play and sing, play and sing and play. And um, I do, got to the place I started doing it every day, and then I felt my spirit started lifting, and the joy started coming in, and I was like, wow, I didn't know what was happening. But it was, it was again, the, the, the music was driving that depressive spirit away. And by me having something that I could, um, I don't know, give myself to, I guess. I mean, I'm not talking about like give myself to my husband, I'm talking about with the instrument. I became one with the instrument in, in worshiping with it. And uh, I don't know, it just blessed my life. So I just, just love it. After a while, um, believe it or not, people that didn't know me, they started hearing me. I'm, I'm minding my business. And then they started uh, asking for me to come 
and to to play at their house and to uh, bring my guitar and worship with them at their house. And I said, wow, okay, Lord. And the uh, door started opening like that. It was really something. But yeah, so I, I, I really do. Uh, and you can do that with a keyboard. You can do that with anything that blesses you. Just for me, it was my old trusty. Not this guitar. This is a different one, but it was my old trusty guitar. Yeah. So guys, I pray that uh, I've encouraged you in some kind of a way through this. Find a way. You know, if you're retired, it's okay. There is no age limit on starting to play an instrument. If you're retired, you got kids, you're young, whatever, you can do it. Um, you just have to just pick it up, get one. I wouldn't advise. I don't. I wouldn't. I didn't advise any of my students in the beginning. Don't put a lot of money into something. Um, use this great. Go find yourself a nice used. They call them box or acoustic guitars. I could go over and get it, but I'll show it to you another time. Um, I'm sure you know what it looks like anyway. And um, start playing with it. Just allow yourself to make all kinds of mistakes. Just make mistakes. That's how you learn. You're, 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 the hard, worst thing you can do is to try to learn an instrument or anything and think that you're going to be perfect, good at it when you first start. That's one of the biggest downfalls ever. It's not going to happen. You're going to make all kinds of mistakes. But each time you make a mistake, you're learning from it. You're learning, oops, okay, should I do that again? I don't do that again. Or maybe I need to move it over here. Don't move it over there. You know, what what to do? Yeah, yeah. And, and you grow that way. And before you know it, you give yourself six weeks and then six months and then, you know, you give yourself a year and you'll be like, wow, you know, this is great, right? And you feel like you've accomplished something. That works with a lot of things. And right now we're just talking about guitar and bar chords and um, things of that sort. So guys, have yourself a great day and uh, thank you so much for all of the likes, all the shares, all the everybody that came in. You know I got to give you a hand clap. Yay! <laughs> this is your girl, Queen C. No Longer about. I'm going to see you right here next time. Book reviews, medical apartheid, wisdom, book review, whatever God's given it to us. It's just whatever I can bring to encourage you in any way, spiritually, financially, physically, mentally, that's what we're going to do. So, thank you. And I'm believing God that one day I'm going to get a subscriber. I'm looking for one subscriber. I get that one subscriber. I'm probably going to hit the ceiling. I'll just probably have a party all by myself. Guys, y'all be good. We'll see you next time right here. Have a great day. Love you much. <laughs>